Top 12 Ways to Plan Taxes for a Construction Business Bob was determined to grow his construction business into a successful empire. His best friend and romantic life partner, Sally, had her own thriving career in Portland and played a crucial role in the family's financial strategy. Together, they balanced raising three kids, two dogs, and a cat. However, managing the tax and legal aspects of Bob's growing business became increasingly overwhelming. That's when Bob turned to David Tuck, a Portland tax consultant and ex-IRS auditor. With David's expertise, they uncovered an additional 12 strategies to help grow wealth, protect assets, and plan for long-term success, including preparing for multiple exits and exploring side income opportunities. One, choosing the right business structure, less risk, more flexibility. When Bob started, his business was structured as a sole proprietorship. David explained that while simple, this setup exposed Bob to excessive liability and tax risk. The lesson, David helped restructure Bob's business into multiple entities, setting up a primary LLC taxed as an S corporation to protect personal assets and create flexibility for growth. Bob also established additional LLCs taxed as partnerships to hold other ventures, providing smart tax planning and better liability protection. Two separating business and personal finances. As Bob and Sally managed both their personal and business finances, they occasionally used business funds for personal expenses and vice versa, a common challenge for many business owners. David cautioned that commingling finances could expose personal assets to business liabilities and create tax issues during an audit. The lesson, by establishing separate bank accounts and credit cards for business and personal expenses, Bob and Sally protected their personal assets and ensured compliance with tax laws. Three, gift lease back for depreciated equipment. Bob's business used trucks and heavy machinery, most of which were fully depreciated. David introduced a gift lease back strategy. Sally's family management company leased the equipment back to the business after transferring ownership. The lesson, this allowed Bob to unlock additional tax savings, including employing the kids and many more tax savings that helped reduce their overall tax burden. Four, tracking every deductible expense. With expenses piling up from equipment costs to job site materials, David emphasized the importance of tracking every deductible business expense to maximize tax deductions. The lesson, by implementing a system for capturing every eligible expense, Bob reduced his taxable income and improved overall business cash flow. Five, accurate financial planning for long-term projects. As Bob's business grew, so did the size and scope of his projects. Managing multi-year projects posed challenges for tax planning. David recommended using the completed contract method with accrual accounting to improve reporting accuracy and cash flow. The lesson, by deferring tax payments until the project's completion, Bob spread out his tax liability over time, allowing for more predictable cash flow management. Six, cash versus accrual accounting for job costing accuracy. Bob struggled to track where his construction jobs were making or losing money. David helped Bob evaluate the difference between cash and accrual accounting methods. While the cash method offered simplicity, accrual accounting provided better reporting accuracy for job costing and cost accounting. This allowed Bob to see which jobs were profitable and which were wasting resources. The lesson. By switching to accrual accounting, Bob gained clarity on his project costs, enabling him to focus on money-making activities and eliminate unprofitable ones. 7. Simplified system with internal controls. Managing expenses and revenues without missing deductions or opportunities was critical for Bob's business. David introduced a simplified system with good internal controls and procedures to follow ensuring all income and costs were properly accounted for and nothing was missed. The lesson, this system allowed Bob to capture every eligible deduction and make sure nothing fell through the cracks, improving cash flow and compliance. Eight, maximizing tax credits. David helped Bob and Sally identify tax credits they could take advantage of, such as the Work Opportunity Tax Credit, WOTC, for hiring veterans and disadvantaged workers, and the energy-efficient commercial buildings deduction for eco-friendly upgrades. The lesson, these credits directly reduced their tax bill, freeing up more funds for reinvestment in the business and family savings. 
Nine, avoiding payroll tax penalties. Managing payroll and filing 1099s can be a headache for business owners, but it's vital for avoiding IRS penalties. David suggested automating payroll through services such as Gusto to ensure filings were accurate and on time. The lesson, automation saved Bob time and reduced costly mistakes, allowing him to focus on growing the business rather than dealing with payroll compliance. 10. Establishing a board of directors. Sometimes the advice is that LLCs don't need to keep minutes or go through the formalities required of other business entities. This can be compared to flossing your teeth. It's not required, but it's a good idea. Establishing a board of directors can have many tax benefits while maintaining strong company policies. It also makes it easier to find documents in case of a due diligence challenge, such as an audit, buy-sell agreement, lawsuit, bank loan, death, disability, or divorce. The lesson, by creating a board of directors, Bob was able to strengthen his company's internal policies and gain additional tax advantages, improving his overall business structure and preparedness for any future challenges. 11. Planning for multiple exits. Most business owners think of selling their business as a one-time event, but David introduced Bob and Sally to the concept of multiple exits. By planning to sell parts of the business over time, they could maximize value and minimize the tax burden. The lesson. This strategy secured financial stability over time while leveraging more favorable tax treatment. 12. Always have a side hustle even in retirement. David's final tip was simple but powerful. Always have a side hustle even in retirement. Whether consulting, investing in rental properties, or starting another business, having multiple income streams provides tax benefits and long-term financial security. Managing the assets they built over their careers to produce passive income well into retirement ensures continuous growth and tax savings. Side hustles provide additional tax deductions for those expenses that are considered business deductions, reducing taxes even more, legally, ethically, and morally. The lesson, keeping a side hustle allowed Bob and Sally to enjoy tax deductions and passive income throughout their lives setting them up for long-term financial stability even after retirement. Conclusion, Bob's journey to building a successful construction business had its challenges, but with David Tuck's expert guidance, they implemented these 12 strategies to reduce tax liabilities, protect assets, and plan for future success. These lessons not only built a stronger business, but also secured Bob and Sally's family's financial future. If you're ready to maximize your tax savings and protect your business, contact David Tuck at Anvil Tax today and learn how you can implement these strategies for your own business success.